Hello, and greetings to everyone. Because of our belief in the directions of our beloved kingdom and compacting the crown epidemic and applying distance education, we, Orbit Pioneer International School, hope to contribute in applying an effective professional and pedagogical educational atmosphere. We have applied an educational series of animation in order to add an element of suspense and enjoyment during the distance education period which is based on the performance of teachers and the students, which supports the students' role in educational process in a classy way and reflects the teacher's value as a coordinator and guide for the students and burdens the students' role in active participation in the educational process. Finally, I hope this video is considered as a satisfying material for the listener and beholder and achieves its goals. Good morning, boys! This is Mr. Ahmad Isham. I'm the teacher of English for grade 4. I hope you are great and doing well. Today we will discuss a new lesson, dependent clauses and independent clauses. I hope you are tuning in and open your hearts and your brains to my explanation. Thank you, sir. We are all ears today. So, let me start this lesson with a very important question. What is the clause and how many types of clothes are there? Sir, can I answer? I have prepared the lesson before, sir. Excellent. Great work, Mazin. Go ahead. Even me, sir. I have prepared at home as I am ready to answer. Can I answer? Amazing. That's a spirit that I need. You will answer later, Lace. Don't worry. Now, let's listen to Mazin. Go on, Mazin. Okay, clause is a short, simple sentence that is located in compound, complex, and compound, complex sentences. There are two types of clauses, dependent and independent clauses. Way to go, Mazen. Great work. So, now, it's your turn, Lace. Would you please inform us, what is the dependent clause? Sure, sir. It's a piece of cake. Defendant clause is a group of words or short, simple sentence that cannot stand alone. And it starts with a subordinator such as, as, because, if, or though, even though, despite, however. For example, after going to school, because he worked hard. Last example, if you study hard. Wow, excellent as always, Lace. Great explanation. Now, Mazen, kindly, can you tell me more about the independent clause? Yes, sir, with pleasure. Independent clause is a group of words that can stand alone. You can find the independent clause in compound and complex sentences. Awesome, Mazen. Great. You are a great boy, really. Now, let's go to Abdulaziz Tari. I just want you to give me some examples of sentences that have dependent and independent clauses. Okay, sir, at your order. Mm, let me think. If you work hard, you will earn a lot of money. Another one. He won the first prize because he trained a lot in the club. Great work, Abdulaziz. Nice examples indeed. Uh, let me add that we can put a comma in between the clauses if we start the sentence with a subordinator. However, we don't need to use commas if the subordinator comes in the middle. Now, we have learned that dependent clause starts by a subordinator and can't stand alone. In addition, independent clause is a group of words that comes in many types of sentences as compound, complex, and compound complex sentences. Finally, I hope you enjoyed this lesson today and see you soon.